Hey third grade and welcome to Canada, our neighbors to the north. These, this country is located in North America and is located north of us. It's above us and it reaches all the way into the Arctic Circle at the top of our globe. So as always, make sure your name is at the top and your need is third grade rating. I do want this colored. It should look like Canada. So this is the falls, these are some kids. Make sure you color everything as neatly as you can. So for today, we're gonna to be talking about one of the most, in, most famous landmarks in Canada, Niagara Falls. So um, a couple of us talked about this during math. If you have ever been to Niagara Falls with your family and your family has a picture handy, um, let's post that in Dojo. So if you have a fall, picture of you in the falls in Niagara Falls, let's see if you can post in Dojo. If you can't find it, that's okay if you've been awesome and you can't find it and you don't have any pictures of it i have been a few times i'm gonna have to see if i can find my pictures from niagara falls but if you can see if you can post a picture of you and your family in niagara falls so our word bank is three area water canada energy 180 hydroelectric so if you want to do this on your own you can this has all of the answers in it um, I read this in a video before this too, so just a heads up there, but it's totally up to you on whether or not you wanna do this with me or do this on your own. Um, I do expect it done, and I do want it turned in on Monday, January, I can't see my calendar from here, 11th, so January 11th, I'd like this return for distribution. So, Niagara Falls is the name of blank waterfalls so that sit on the border of blank in the United States. So, Niagara Falls is the name of blank waterfalls. Is it the name of three waterfalls, area waterfalls, water waterfalls, Canada waterfalls, energy waterfalls, 180 waterfalls, hydroelectric waterfalls? Well, these two are the best fit. None of them out makes sense. So are there three waterfalls or 180 waterfalls? There's actually three waterfalls. So we're gonna cross out a three. And remember, at any point in time, you can pause this or you can come back to it. Um, Niagara Falls is the name of three waterfalls that sit on the border of blank in the United States. The border is the invisible line that separates these countries. So what country are we talking about? We are talking about the country of Canada. It is a proper noun, so it should be capitalized. Neatest handwriting, take your time. If you need to pause it, feel free. And I crossed it off my list, so I know that I have two down. So, Niagara Falls is the name of three waterfalls that sit on the border of Canada and the United States. These giant waterfalls are more than blank feet tall. Now, if I'm looking up here, the only one that really makes sense is 180 feet tall, because we're talking about the height of something. So, these giant waterfalls are more than 180 feet tall. It's also a power source for the surrounding blank. Oops, I forgot to cross this off. It's a power source. So we get our power from these waterfalls for the surrounding area, the surrounding water, the surrounding energy, or the surrounding hydroelectric. Well, it's a power so source for the surrounding water doesn't really make sense. Because it's not, we don't power the water. The water is the power for the surrounding area. A great amount of blank from the falls is turned into blank. Now, what, we're gonna cross that area. What is it in our video yesterday that we heard that the falls has a, a lot of? Well, yesterday we learned that over a million bathtubs falls over that falls. So, it's a great amount of water falls over those falls. So, a great amount of water from the falls is turned into what? What are the falls, to, what do we use to, what do we turn into? We use that, we use the water from the falls and turn it into energy. This type of energy is called hydroelectric. This part of hydroelectric, that's hydro, that means water. That's a suffix that means water. So it's hydro electric. So it's power that comes from water. E-L-E-C-T-R-I-C. Hydroelectric power. 
So I do want the words Niagara and Falls colored in with crayons or colored pencils or markers, however you choose to do it. Just be careful, you don't want it to go through on this if you're gonna use markers because you're gonna need to finish that up. But I do expect both of these things colored in beautifully. And we're gonna stop there for our book on Canada. We're gonna come back tomorrow to talk about food and the flag. So two more pages to do. All right, food and the flag coming at you. Bye third grade.